This is Wild Chronicles. I'm Boyd Matson. The Japanese island of Honshu is home to the largest species of wasp on Earth. With its three-inch wingspan and quarter-inch stinger, the Japanese giant hornet is one of the insect world's most fearsome predators. This queen is already carrying the eggs that will become her workers, the core of her fighting legions in the weeks to come. For now, her goal is to bring her young into the world and to keep them well fed. This praying mantis is a formidable predator in its own right. But the queen, driven by the hunger of her larvae, overpowers her opponent. And as quickly as it begins, the battle is over. She can't eat the prey she kills. Adult hornets can't digest solid protein. Instead, she chews the mantis's flesh into a fine paste and carries it home to the nest. Her young will dine well today. Some of her offspring are still helpless larvae. Others have reached the pupa stage and have spun cocoons to protect them as they transform into full-grown adults. Still others are busy being born into the world. All are female, all sisters. They will live for only a month and will be replaced by new workers, then new ones after that. They will continue building the nest, caring for the larvae and honey. By midsummer, the nest is nearly unrecognizable. The once simple structure has become a labyrinth. The hornets now number more than 200. There are 10 times as many as there were only weeks ago. Every day, scores of new workers join the ranks. In another two weeks, their numbers will double. The nest is now a powerful engine fueled by a constantly mounting hunger. As the colony approaches peak population, the workers seek out new and larger sources of protein. Today, the target is a yellow hornet colony. The nest is home to thousands of hardy fighters and just as many tasty larvae. These yellow hornets aren't exactly easy prey. But the giant hornets are just too big, too strong, and too determined. Despite the defender's best efforts, all resistance is crushed. The giant hornets take every single larvae, every single pupa, For the hungry larvae at home, there is plenty to go around. The colony is thriving, but nature has limited the lifespan of the queen and her winged empire. It's the end of the season. As winter approaches, food sources will vanish, and the workers will literally starve to death. The queen is growing weaker by the day, her life is drawing to a close. 
Only now will she lay unfertilized eggs, which will become the colony's first males. Their sole purpose will be to provide sperm to a new generation of queens. At the same time, some of the larvae are developing into queens. The males fly to other nests to fertilize their new queens. And there are often many suitors. All are welcome, but as a rule, only one gets to mate. Having fulfilled their only function, the stingerless males will die within days. The hundreds of fertilized queens must now search out a place to weather the coming winter and wait for spring, when they will give birth to next year's colonies of these graceful and powerful flying giants. Check for wild chronicles on your local PBS station. Sponsored by National Geographic Mission Programs taking science and exploration into the new millennium. For the best subscription offers to any National Geographic magazine, log on to nationalgeographic.com slash magazines.